what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear on the crown. Me for telling me flop. We just get scared and let go with the out. Fuck it, still a throw shot at the shot. Still a throw. You got some money. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview. And today, I have... We got Moolah G's in the building. We appreciate you for coming, because it's brick outside. Is that what the kids still saying? Brick? Okay, yeah. It's brick outside, so definitely appreciate you for coming. So, firstly, congratulations on your Hustler of the Year Award. How do you feel getting that? Thank you, thank you. I ain't gonna lie. Definitely big shout-out to Talk of the Town. Good looking. I ain't gonna lie. Great. When my mother, I was trying to come in for like a month now. She's been ducking me. Uh-uh, uh, don't do that. My shit back. So, in terms of like looking back on 2021 and like what kept you motivated, what would you say like had you doing your thing? Like I say, when the time to God's, because I think we ready to stop this shit. The God will never let me stop against it. So, you've had times where you was like, fuck this shit, I don't want to do this no yeah. more. Yeah, a lot. So what is it that they do to like motivate you? They just tell you like they keep pushing me. They tell me like like they tell me like the good thing that's gonna happen in the future. Mm -hmm. They not letting. They just not letting me stop. Like regardless of what I no matter no matter what I say to them, what I do, they nobody like nobody around me. They not let me stop. So do you think that plays like a big yeah big part? Okay, so let's like circle back real quick in terms of like where you from. Let the people know where you from. I'm, I'm from Yonkers, New York. A lot of people put me in the category of the Bronx. Like, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I'm from Yonkers. So what from. what was it like growing up in Yonkers? What was your life like? Young and young and playful for me. <laughs> young and playful. Was you outside like that's after that's, a certain point? That's what I'm saying. It was young and playful. Oh, was you was outside. playful like that. I was outside a little boy, playful, playful for me. <laughs> uh huh. So okay. So when did you start like making music? What got you into making music in the I first started, place? I started making music. I was dumb young, but I. I I I wasn't really taking it serious tonight. Like, nah. Okay, so dumb young like what? Cause like, how old are you right now? I'm 18. Okay, so you still. You still yeah. old. So how so how old were you when you was making music? I was, I was like nine. Ten. Nine before is I, crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Before I even could talk, I was saying dumb shit. <laughs> like before <laughs> I could really talk all the way, I was saying dumb shit. Like I was saying like I don't know, but but I just been trying to rock all my life. Okay, so when you were making music at nine, what kind of music was that? Was you making? Because I don't want to say drill and automatically nah, put you into that fake, category. I used to fake look up to Lil Wayne back then when I was like nine. So mm -hmm. I used to fake try to sound like him. Mm -hmm. on some BZ shit. Okay. <laughs> some BZ shit. So what was it that made you go from sounding like Wayne and using him as an influence to now you making drill music? Because Keith came up. Mm. Like, and I became a different person. So you was heavy into the Chicago yeah. drill scene. Yeah, and I became a different person by now. Okay, so what do you think about, like, the New York drill scene in comparison to Chicago? Because I've heard people compare. Like, I know you said a lot of people bunch together Yonkers and Bronx yeah. drill, but I hear a lot of people also compare Bronx drill to Chicago drill. So what are your thoughts on... Like the, like the difference? The difference, the similarities. Do you see why people make it's, that comparison? Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie, I give it to Chicago. They started it. That's the only way, that's the only way people could, like, Period. We don't sound nothing like them. Mm. Like when we drill rapping, we don't sound nothing like them. But they started it, so they could they could say that. I you know what? Well. I think it was actually used um on, on the radar, yeah. and I think Gabe had mentioned that. Like, cause the music videos, like you got the shaky cameras, everybody's like getting yeah. sturdy, everybody's doing their thing. So I think that's more so why. But you don't think you don't see the similarity between the two? Nah, yeah, yeah, like Chicago, they like I don't know, like they drill was drill, but. Drill, but it was, I don't know, like, you see we dancing, we doing my mm -hmm, extra mm -hmm. shit, adding my extra, we seeing different shit, I don't know, like, and they sound different, everything. Mm -hmm. they just I mean, well, everywhere that's sounds all different. they can say. You listen I mean, to that's UK? All, that's all you can drill? say. No, I don't really listen to UK drill. So, who you fucking with now from the New York drill? I won't say Bronx drill only, but who you fucking with in New York, period, in terms of drill artists? Me and my niggas. Don't do that. Who you fuck? like, all right, give me, like, three. Me, Veli <laughs> <laughs> Me, Veli Bells, and Bob the Unit. Okay, so you and your niggas. You, okay. But how did you how did you and Veli Bells meet? Because y'all, like, low-key, like, a dynamic duo. Y'all make a lot of music together. So we how, met, how, we, how we met? Yeah. We grew, we grew up with each other. Okay. I, mean, my mother. I don't even know. I don't even... It's so real. Like, I don't even... Like, I, I, I don't remember they met. I just know we, was, we met. We was, like, 
two years old. And y'all was locked in ever since. Yeah. So when did y'all start making music together? Y'all, you was you making music first, and then he was like, "Let me hop on a track," or vice versa. Like, how did that work? Or y'all started at the same time? Nah, he 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 was making like he was taking it serious first. Mm-hmm. He was making music first. He was taking it serious first. Then then he had, he had got he had got locked up or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I started feeling. I started taking it serious. Then he came home. We started really, that's when we started really making music together. So was that the moment that you decided that, like, I know you just said it, but just want to make sure yeah. that was the moment you decided, like, you want to start taking this music yeah, serious. Yeah. So you kind of held it down while he was gone. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so if you were. My son AI, too. My son AI was like, bugging, too. Okay. So if you weren't making music, what would you be doing right now? What do you think? If I wasn't making music, I don't mm-hmm. know. I'd probably, I'd probably be stuck in, I don't know. I'd probably be stuck in the house trying to make millions or something. I, I, if I wasn't making music and something, I would have been doing something else. Mm-hmm. Are you happy? Something, something else for, for the millions. Are you happy that you chose to do that? For what, music? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, of course I'm going to ask, because I always think, like, you know, I'm not a mother yet, but soon, it'll soon come eventually. So I put myself in the mother's shoes, like, I don't know how I feel about my son talking about <laughs> shooting niggas and diss tracks <laughs> and we smoking on your dad's. Like, how did, <laughs> how did your mother feel when you was, when you first came out with, you know, with your music, like, what was her reaction? I used to get grounded every day. <laughs> so, I, I, I just kept doing it till she stopped grounding me. So was it that, like, she eventually saw, like, you was really going up, so she was like, I'm going to support it? Or was it just, like, she just laid off your back a little bit? Yeah, she, she started supporting. I ain't gonna lie. My mom, like, my mom really is a supporter. She started supporting. That's good. Okay, so you mentioned your friends being your motivators, right? So question, you make... A lot of music with a lot of different people. You have a lot of collabs. Are these niggas really your friends, or is it on like some business shit? Like y'all really hang out. You already talked about belly bells. I know that, but do y'all really hang out off out the booth? Off that's the some, track. That's what I'm saying. Certain shit, certain shit. A lot of shit just be business for real. Mm-hmm. A lot of shit really just be business. Like I don't know. I don't know what other niggas take it as, but shit don't be like niggas not my brothers. Mm. A lot of shit be business. Some niggas be my brother. Okay. So how does it feel? Because I know a lot of your brothers, or at least some, they making music. So how does it feel to like really be going up with like the people that you came up with, getting lit together? The people like like how, how does it feel going up with the people the people I grew yeah up for with? so like I'm gonna just say Belly Vells because we were just yeah. talking about him. Like you say y'all met when y'all was two, y'all mm-hmm. started making music together, mm-hmm. y'all going up together, you getting lit. Like how does that feel now? You I know, feel, I feel I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I don't know. Like it was like it just be like. Like say if I'm like it just be like damn like we were just like this like we we go through our flicks like damn we were just like this wearing some dumb shit looking mm-hmm. looking looking I ain't gonna lie looking like a disgrace to life like we look at it right now we used to look like a disgrace to life we used to do sh- dumb shit uh uh-huh. so like it's like it's got whole different brains right mindsets mindsets for me like niggas just, awards yeah more more awards <laughs> like more awards. Feel me more. You got more goals. You got better goals now from the we used to. You said we ain't had no. I ain't gonna lie. We ain't had no goals. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't know. We just started putting our brain together. So, at what moment was it that you really realized like we going up in this shit? Like, was it a fan interaction? Was it a post? Like, what was it that really like my showed first, you? My first hundred K views. Your first hundred K views. And what song was that on? Um, a song with me and AI, I think. Yeah, so me and AI, back and forth. Mm-hmm. So that's really what made you realize, like, you was going up. Yeah. Did it give you a little push? Because I know sometimes, like, a lot of upcoming artists, they be making music, and it's like nobody's really tapping in. Yeah, and that then, gave me a push. I mean, that, like, when I saw my first 100K views on YouTube, mm-hmm. it was like, that's what made me feel like, like, I, I could keep doing this. Like, I could keep doing this. I could go somewhere with it. Mm-hmm. I got 100K views. That's back then, especially back then. That's crazy. Like, back yeah. then, back then 5,000 5, views was crazy. Like, right, yeah. So 100K like was OD. So was that a drill song or was that? Yeah, that was a drill song. Okay. So you, okay. So like you said, you have been tapped into this drill shit. So what exactly does like drill music mean to you? Like, is it the beat? Is it the lyrics? Can I hop on a drill beat and talk about like, I'm going to the store, I'm doing this, and it's still considered a drill song or I got to talk about like really going on a drill? Like if it's a drill, I don't know. Cause <laughs> you could, you could drill rap on a, you could drill rap on a, a melody beat uh-huh. so I don't know like I don't know it's not gonna be a drill like if you drill rap on a melody beat I don't know that's that's not it's gonna be a drill song still uh-huh but if you sing on a drill beat I don't think that's a drill song okay so it's all about the lyrics yeah. more than 
Yeah. Do you think a nigga could be a drill rapper if he never been on a drill before? <laughs> I don't know. No. Nah, you can you can do you can do whatever you want. A lot of niggas do do what they want. I don't know, bro. <laughs> okay. A lot of niggas do what they want. You can do what you want, bro. Okay. Okay. Well, do you think that there's like eventually gonna come a time where like the drill phase dies down and niggas stop kind of like tapping into this shit, or do you think it's gonna last? I don't know. It's gonna. I don't know. It's gonna be a new era. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a new era, just like how Chicago had it first. Mm-hmm. And New York, nobody probably New Jersey gonna probably start drill rapping, mm-hmm. and they gonna have it. I feel like drill rap's never gonna fall off. So if it does fall off in New York, hypothetically speaking, would you keep making it? Would you tap into like a different market? Yeah. What, what would you do? Yeah, I'm gonna keep making it. I'm gonna tap into different markets. Like, I'm I'm gonna stay versatile. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. If I want to get versatile, I'm versatile. But right now. Okay, so like, what market would you see yourself in? Like, who's like one out of the box artist that you would want to tap into? That's not on the drill scene. That like. Could really like give us an example of how versatile you trying to get with this shit. Polo G. Polo G. Okay. Yeah. He's like with the melodic shit. Melodic drill, whatever you want. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how do you feel like? Because right now a big thing with the drill scene is the sample waves, and I know you've been using some samples. I heard Wrecking nah, Ball. Yeah. You know, you got the shake your body. Nah, like yeah, samples is going right now. Right now, samples is going crazy. Samples fuck around getting nigga millions. You samples uh, fuck me. Samples just fuck millions of views. Samples just like just samples that you could say some dumb shit on the sample, mm-hmm. and just like like a sample like that, like that, shit like we just said, mm-hmm. sample like that. You could just say some dumb shit. I don't want to say I don't want to say names, but I just I didn't see niggas get millions of views saying some stupid shit on samples, uh-huh. and they going crazy. Like, you say you don't want to say names? Yeah, I ain't gonna say names, but I mean I didn't. Mm-hmm. I see a lot of okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, so do you think that like the sample, the sample beats that you've been using has been helping you like get up, or do you think it's been consistent? Like, do you yeah, think I it's helped like, you? I feel like I feel like it just I feel like it just me being consistent. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's me like I started grinding more, like mm-hmm. putting my head more in the game. <laughs> On the topic of samples, TikTok has been eating the drill beats with the samples up like yeah. crazy. Do you think that like TikTok has or social media in general has like a big part to play and like you know kind of like why you like really really like yeah late right now yeah 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 that's 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 for you that's for you like if without 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 social media how are you gonna promote your music mm-hmm. so it's like the media is really like tics, especially TikTok TikTok got wrecking ball right TikTok got wrecking like TikTok going crazy on wrecking ball and um what's it called the shake song, it yeah the song the song shake that's going ride on wrecking ball. I mean, like every every song with every any song that you could dance to, I feel like it's gonna go viral on TikTok. Mm, not like any, any like not like because TikTok is for like what is for dancing, right? Basically, dancing people do dumb shit like eat food and shit, but <laughs> 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 but it's really mostly dancing, right? Like people be dancing doing dances. So when you make songs, do you keep that in mind? Like I'm about to make some shit that like people could really dance to, gets thirty to, or is it like I'm just trying to? Make what I like to hear, and hopefully people will fuck with it. Depending on how I'm feeling in the booth that day, mm-hmm. that's that's what that's what I'm like. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling like I want to make niggas dance. I'm feeling like I'm in a geek mode. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some like make some dancing shit. But I feel like I'm mad. I'm just I'm just scream, get angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So when you hopped in the booth, because we was just talking about you know shake that, shake it, shake yeah, it, shake it. Um, you hopped in the booth with K Flock and Dougie B and um how did that link up happen? Like how did y'all how did y'all get to making that song? Dougie Dougie B. Dougie B he from he like he from my hood. Mm-hmm. Dougie B from my hood, like just like how just like how I was just saying I grew up with I, grew, I really grew up with Dougie B like mm-hmm. my brother so so from like he just like we just did we just did the track fucking with Dougie B. Mm-hmm. Did you K expect Flock, K Flock K Flock that was like that was that's Dougie B. That's really Dougie B right in there. Right. And in my son Vows, he been doing things for me together. So, so did you? Just, sorry, I'm not trying I, to cut you I, off. I, 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 <laughs> did you expect for it to go up as much as it did? Yeah, but yeah, facts. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I got a quick question though. This is like kind of relevant, but not really. Cause I saw like people was posting like the unreleased. 
but it was like top shotta. That's what they was calling. Did y'all ever like think about calling that, or did people just give it yeah, their own just, name? People just gave it. The internet just gave it their own name. Oh, okay. People started putting their verses on there and all that. Mm-hmm. So, of course, I gotta ask because I'm sure like the people who are watching are wondering. So, in your Instagram, you know, you got your little catalog of songs and all the songs that you did, and like you did some songs with D thing, and you know, we know. What's going on? So, how did that come about? How did you meet him? And then, well, I'm gonna let you answer that first. How did that link up come about? Like we, like we said earlier, it should just be business for certain niggas. Okay. It should just be business. Okay. Business shit about business. So that's not really like on some. That's my bro, or that was my bro. Shit. It was just linking to make the song. Yeah. It's plural, because there was two. Right. Okay, so do people say anything to you? Like, is that something that comes up? Like, what, the fact that you had some songs with him, and then I now, mean, you know. What do, what do they be saying to you? And how you feel about it? I don't pay that shit no mind. Okay. Thanks, I don't pay no mind, honestly. Mm-hmm. I just be shit. I just be reading comments. I just be laughing sometimes. Right. Like, so do sometimes you. Sometimes I just take it like niggas just mad. Like, niggas they mad at you, sir? Yeah, niggas be angry. Niggas hard to be broke, so. I don't really care, bro. So do you think that, like, personal relationships outweigh business relationships? Like, if you said it was on some business shit, and I know you mentioned, like, Dougie B, you grew up with them, you know, your bros, the situation. But, like, if there was another opportunity, like, let's say that y'all wanted, or he wanted to make, like, a part three, because y'all got two. So if he wanted to make, like, a part three, would you be with it? Or is it like, nah, my bros don't fuck with you, so you and D-Thing? If you if you if you wanted to make a part three, would I make the part three? Yeah, like does your does your personal relationships outweigh your business relationships? I ain't gonna lie. Oh, honestly, just by me, like I wouldn't make the part three. Just it's about by, you. Just by just by me, like nobody, not nobody saying that. Just by me, I wouldn't make. The part oh, you wouldn't make it. Yeah. Okay, so then what about like somebody else? Like, if would you make a track with somebody that you had beef with? No. No. It don't matter how much you get offered. No. What if y'all not recording the same booth? Like, would you would you do it? <laughs> okay, I just had to ask you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so what are your thoughts? I know we kind of talked about, like, diss tracks a little bit, a little before. But, like, what are your thoughts on them? Like, do you feel like there's a limit? Like, are there bounds when it comes to making a diss track? Like, at what point? It depends on what type of person you are. I, well, honestly, to me, it depends on what type of person. Like, I, I feel like I feel like too much dissing is a little too much, though. Mm -hmm. Like, too much dissing is a little too much. But on, if you just dissing and just, like, just, I don't know, like, some niggas just be doing too much, like, just dissing, not, niggas just be sucking dick. Like, right. Just dick riders. Mm -hmm. If you just dissing, not really doing nothing, not, just, you don't got more money than the person you diss, mm -hmm. nothing, the shit is irrelevant. But if you dissing, like, I don't know, bro. That shit just... Everybody diss if you drill rapping. But that's the thing. It seems like the disses is, like, what gets the people going. Like, that's what they want to see. So how do you, like, balance that? Like, do you ever want to make, like, a regular-ass yeah. track and it's like, damn, I got to diss this nigga and his, you know. Nah, you don't got to diss a nigga for the, for the millions, though. But you, but you is right. That's what every, like, that's what the, that's what they want to see right now, really, dissing. Mm -hmm. They want to mm -hmm. hear, they want to hear what a nigga got to say about another nigga. Right. I mean, they want to hear, they want to hear, they want to hear what's going on. They think they think a lot of shit going on for me. So, so question for you: Would you rather make a diss track that gets like no views, or let me not say no views? It don't get no traction, no attention. Like niggas is tuned in, but nobody really talking about it. Or would you rather a diss track about you go viral? You so said, would I rather me make a diss track that don't really get traction? But uh, so, but. Or, or or do I rather somebody else make a diss track with me go viral? I mean, yeah. Me, go viral. Mm -hmm. me make a diss track and get no <laughs> views. That's why you dissing me. You didn't do nothing to me. <laughs> so you don't feel like, because you know some people be like, all press is good press. You don't think so? I mean, shit. See, if, if you dissing me and it's going to make me some money then, shit, diss me all you want. But like, what if they just go viral and then you make a diss back and then that one? Like, you never know. You could kind of capitalize off of that. No? Okay. Mm. That's fair. All right. So, 
we already talked about your collabs, but do you have any like dream collabs for projects that you're working on? Nah, not really. Like, no, no, no dream collabs. I don't know. Like, all right, let me. All right, not not that I can really think of. I don't know. Like, so there's nobody you want to collab with. Only like that I could think of off the top of my mind is Polo. That's it. Okay. Like, really? I can really think of that. I really just want to collab with. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, so are you still part of 3GE? Is that still? Yeah, of course. Okay, can you explain to us, like, what exactly, how did that come about, and what exactly is it? That's, 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 a, that's a music group. That's a family. Mm-hmm. That's a 3GE, 3GE label. That's a, that's a family. And who started that? It just came about. It's, 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 just, after, it's just after 300 shit for me, so. Uh-huh. Three, so three, three, like, somebody was just like. Let's make them. Was it like everybody was making music, so it just made sense? Was it? Yeah, like everybody, everybody that was everybody that was us from 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 around the time, mm-hmm. from around the neighborhood. We was making music. Mm-hmm. We made it to the, we made it to like a like a label basically, like a music group. Okay. We started going to shows together, doing music. Everybody was doing mad music together. Five niggas on one track. We started going crazy from mm-hmm. there. We just never never let up. So would you ever consider signing to like a big label? Yeah. Yeah. You got anybody in mind right now? Sam, you talking numbers, you talking right. You say you talking numbers, you talking right? Okay, because I see, like, lately you've been around, like, OPs and 90 and, um, like. Yeah. What, what do you think about that? Like, would you ever consider signing to his label? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm signing. I ain't got a lot. I'm signing to him. Oh, to him. you said what? I can't hear you. Him. I'm signing to him. Oh. Him. Like, and so what, cool. so what was it about? Because you was just like, you ain't talking numbers, you talking so what is it about like his label that like really did it for you? It was the guys they really they put a, they put a lot behind. It was the guys. Okay. So even with that, you know, even with you being a part of that label, you still don't see like no collabs coming out of that. You don't. Nah, like, yeah, they gonna yeah they gonna come. The collab, they, the collab mm-hmm. definitely gonna come with a lot of artists. I ain't gonna lie. But you don't got nothing in mind. Yeah, I don't really got nothing like that's popping up in my mind. But I know it's gonna be collabs coming. With Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you just said, like, signing to a label is a very big deal. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, you was just talking about, um, you know, you was doing music. You was doing this for a long time. You grew up with your bros. Like, I really just want to know, like, how has it been, like, growing up? Because you're still pretty young. How has it been growing up with, like, all eyes on you, kind of? Because you've been outside. Now, like, I feel like you and your friends and even, like, just, like, New York rappers in general, a lot of them are, like, really young right now. And I feel like everybody's tapped into y'all. You're all on social media. Like, everything you do is being watched. Like, how does that feel to, like, be growing up into, like... Different. You got to move way different from what you Gangsta, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I feel like everywhere I go, I'm being watched. Right. Like, everywhere I go, I feel like somebody's watching me, talking about me, looking at me, pointing at me. I don't know. I feel like everywhere I go, I'm just being watched, so... Have you ever had any, like, crazy, like, I don't want to say fan, but I'll say fan, like, fan experience with somebody, like, did some shit? Like, what will happen? Somebody jumping off a school bus all the way from a whole block away, running to me. What? Taking a picture. A whole lot of shit. That's why I just got to start. Like, I, I, that's why I don't, I, don't walk around, I don't walk around young because no more. I don't walk I ain't going to lie to me. I don't walk around. Like, when I used to walk around, mm-hmm. a lot of fans used to fake, do too much. Nah, I just don't, I just don't like to be seen a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, then that's why you walk around with the ski mask on. <laughs> so what you doing in the summertime? I still walk around with the ski, with the ski mask on. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> okay, all right. You're really not trying to be seen. Okay, so is there anything that you've done so far, like growing up into your career, that you wish that you could do over or like get a second chance at? Um, like with music. It could be music related or just in general. I don't even know, honestly. No. Okay, so we about to, like, get a little personal, but curious to know. Because I gave you the opportunity to ask, I asked you if there was anything you wish to do. Don't get too personal, don't get too personal. No, like, don't do that to me. <laughs> you know she's about to wild out. I don't know she's what's too personal. To I mean, I feel like anything is up for grabs when it's on the internet. So, we all know you was in a relationship with Nay. Oh, Okay. I mean, I know you knew it was coming. We all knew you was in a relationship with Nay. 
and it didn't work out. Do you care to share like what happened with that? Listen, man, we gonna let we gonna let that beautiful young lady be that beautiful young lady. I mean, I don't wanna feel I don't I don't really wanna talk about her right now. Nate. It's crazy. But <laughs> we just we just fell apart. Like that's we nothing nothing like if you think it with the beef, mm-hmm. nothing really happened. Okay. We just fell apart. Okay, so it wasn't related to like a, a side yes. thing or anything like that. How does it feel though to have like your ex and you going up? In the same scene at the same time, uh-huh. they don't feel no way. Would you would you consider dating anybody else like in the industry after that? In the industry, mm-hmm. nah, no, not not dating. No, not dating. Underground or mainstream? I would rather go. I rather I rather go over like a, a regular bitch, like a nine to five. Yeah, yeah. Oh really? Yeah, gang. So I rather go with a regular bitch. Bitch is in the industry be going crazy, bro. Mm. No, nah, not a nine to five though. Nine to five is crazy. Not a five. Like a bitch so kid. like like a okay, <laughs> like a right, like, like a makeup a artist, bitch, like, lash yeah, tag. Like, yeah, you feel me? Like a regular, regular stick bitch that's not in the industry. Like just a regular. But you know what's wrong with a nine to five? Nine to five is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, damn. So I, if there was any girls out here that was hoping that Moolah was going to be the one, you got a nine to five, I'm sorry, baby girl. It don't sound like it's an option. So, I mean, after your relationship, is there, we, it don't even got to be about Nay specifically, but is there anything that you've taken from that, that, I mean, one, I guess, that you're not dating nobody in the industry, but, like, anything that you would take from that into, like, just dating or life in general that you feel like it taught you? No? No. Hmm. Life. Okay. All right. Well, um, do what's so? What's your upcoming plans for 2022? What can we look out for? A whole lot of mixtape, heat dropping, a lot of collabs. Mm-hmm. Everything. I'm going crazy. Just watch. We are going to drop crazy this year. Ain't gonna lie. I saw shit you might. post um, C Blue when he was locked up. You say y'all got something working. Yeah. Is that coming out soon? When yeah, can we, we look some, out for that? Yeah, we got some shit. We got some shit coming about to shoot the video. We got a whole lot coming. That's what I'm saying. We got a whole lot of collabs. Okay. My unexpected shit coming up. Okay. And so when we look back five years from now, at this exact interview, where do you think you're going to be? What you think you're going to be doing? Like five years from now, like I always say in every other interview, I feel like I'm going to be at a mansion somewhere with five, five, ten bathrooms, mm-hmm. two cars in the back, two cars in the front. Mm-hmm. Is Four. that what success looks like to you? Yeah. That's success to me. Millions. Millions in di- different rooms. Think it <laughs> count on full. Crazy. <laughs> Think it count on full. I mean, uh huh. Roll tight. That's all we have about it. Roll. Okay, so before we wrap it up, is there anything else that you feel like you would like for our audience to know? Nah, just this the stay. I mean, just stay watching me for me. Like, keep watching me. I want to see. I want to see. I'm telling you. So a whole lot coming for y'all. Hold on, before we wrap it up, because you was about to say something else. You was about to say stay consistent. That's what it sounded like, no? Yeah, I was. Man. Okay, so I is was, that is that? I we, meant we, to say keep. I was gonna say that, but I meant to say keep watching. All right, so we gonna add one one last question. So, what are your your final words of advice to any upcoming artist right now who's watching this? What would you tell them? And you can't say stay consistent because I low key just like caught that one. Yeah. So, what's one more that you would like just tell them? I don't know. Keep grinding. Keep your foot on niggas next for me. Like regardless, I want everybody. I don't want niggas. Okay, okay, so shout your Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff out. Mula G's 300 on the gram, huh? Oh, Mula G's 300 on the gram. TikTok, Mula G's 300, everything, Mula G's 300, everything, everything, every social media. Okay, and congratulations again on your award. Bye, y'all.